Angelo and welcome back to my channel and if you're new to my channel thank you so much for stopping by now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and the notification bell for more upcoming DIY future videos. For this DIY I would like to share with you how I use hula hoops to create a side table and wall clock. If you would like to find out what I created, just continue watching. For my first DIY I'll be starting off with two plastic 6 inch bowls. I will also be using a 1 by 23 inches cardboard tube that is very strong. I'll be gluing all three pieces together but first I'll be using two foam boards that are already cut six inches and I'll be making two lines, one vertical and one horizontal so I can find my center. Next I took the tube and I placed it in the center and then I traced it and then I cut it out. I'm just making sure that it has the right fit and I repeated the same steps on the second one. For the remainder of this DIY, I'll be using my strongest glue sticks. Next, I took my foam board cutouts and glued them on the bowls. I took my tube and applied hot glue around the tip and then I'll be inserting it through the hole inside the bowl and I'll repeat the same steps with the next bowl on the opposite end. The tube was a little loose so I took some hot glue and applied it around to hold it in place. I had three hula hoops that I had from a, a failed project that I never got to use so I'll be using all three for this project. Next I'll take my long ruler and I'll place markings to divide the hula hoops in half. I'll repeat the same steps on all three and then I'll take my scissors and cut them in half. I cut a total of six pieces but I will only be using five. And don't forget to follow me on my social media platforms, link below. I lost the footage on how I traced the circles onto the bows, but all I did was take the hoop, place it on the side of the bow, and traced it with a marker, and then I cut each hole out using my soldering iron. Here I'm just making sure that the hoops will fit nice and snug. I continue cutting out the holes one and a half inches apart only on one half of the bowl. Next I'll start inserting all five hoops inside the holes. Once I was done, I went back with hot glue and applied hot glue to hold them in place on both ends. I'll be using this 10 inch tray for my bottom base and all I did was take hot glue and apply that and then glue them together. Underneath the base, I'll be drilling two holes and I'll be using two two inch screws to hold it in place. For my tabletop, I'll be using this 18 inch tray and I'll be repeating the same steps as I did with the bottom base.
Next, I took it to a well ventilated area and spray painted two coats of metallic gold. I'll be covering the center tube with metallic gold contact paper. I use metallic gold pearl wrap to cover around the edges of the foam board cutouts and the hoops. For some reason, when I was spray painting the foam board cutouts, the paper came off. So I'll be using clear school glue, crushed glass, and glitter, and I'll be covering it up. To start off, I'll be applying my clear school glue, and then I'll spread it out using my sponge brush, and then I'll apply my crushed glass. And for extra shimmering, I'll be applying gold glitter. Many of you have seen me use this technique to apply my crushed glass, and I find that it works very well for me, but you do what works best for you. And as you can see, I'll be working in sections. And to go on top of my tabletop, I glued on a 18 inch round mirror. For my second DIY, I'll be starting off with this metallic gold plastic tray. Next, I took my marker and I'll be placing a dot in the center and then I'll take my solder and iron and make the hole. Next, I took another hula hoop spray painted in metallic gold and then I'll take my tray and I'll be gluing it in the bottom edge of the hoop. Once I was done, I flipped it over and I'll be gluing craft sticks on the bottom part to make it nice and sturdy. Close to the edge around the tray, it has a dip, so I'll be repeating the same steps with my clear school glue, crushed glass, and glitter. Because I did saturate the crushed glass with the clear school glue, I'll be using a skewer to move it around to make sure the crushed glass holds in place. Next, I purchased this clock kit from Walmart and it's battery operated and all I did was attach the battery pack to the back side, apply hot glue to hold it in place, and then I attached my hands. I really do love the way this side table turned out and the matching wall clock completes the set. This side table is not only for the living room, but it also can be used in your bedroom. Now one thing I did notice when I was doing the wall clock that the tray had scratches and I did not see them until I started taking my photos. I apologize about that. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy both DIYs as much as I enjoy creating them. Now don't forget, like and share with family and friends and subscribe if you haven't. Turn on your notifications for more upcoming future videos. I'll see you on my next DIY upload.